in the following video I'll be showing you how, showing you how to address the different parameters, different registers and from uh, Allen Bradley PLC and that's the model is a Micrologic 1100. We will be making reference to the inputs, the outputs, some of the timers and counters. So first of all, let's start. Op let's start by opening uh, RSA Logic, and this is the the program program that uh, that we're running on the PLC. Uh, we are online, and we're connecting our PLC to our PC using the e Ethernet um, port. So we have uh, so so we have it connected right now through Ethernet, and we also connecting our um, our HMI uh, using the um, the serial port the RS232 um, and the problem is already running and we're going to make reference to the input outputs the accumulated value of, of uh, one of the timers the accumulated value of one of the counters and we're going to make reference also to two different um, uh, integers. And also um, we're going to control some of the um, some of the contactors to to interface with the we are with our PLC. Okay, so we'll be in order to get the the uh, right address. Well, what you can do is, for instance, we're this is the the our contactor which is in the which address is b uh, zero and you can go to binary and if you want the this value you can get the address from here so right now uh, it's being shown that it's this address is b three uh, semicolon zero dash uh, zero and let's make reference to that on our HMI. Um, which is uh, B, which is this one. So you don't have to use the B3. You don't have to specify, uh, specify it as B3. You can just uh, use plainly the, the, the letter B. Semicolon. Then is the word, which is this word. This entire word, and um, and then you want the specific bit, so you put this dash, and the bit is the bit is zero. And this is a momentary momentary button, so that works only with bits. So you have to use uh, this bit if you want to. If you try to use a a, a word, it's going to give you an error. So you have to use uh, the bit for uh, for numeric entry you can use uh, words but for buttons and for indicators you have to use uh, a, a bit uh, address so that was for uh, a bit uh, the binary number uh, word zero bit uh, zero now for inputs you use the uh, letter uh, i uh, semicolon zero dash uh, zero and then the other is uh, the input word zero l bit bit uh, one and then the bit uh, two and you can also use the this little wizard to 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 uh, to introduce the 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 others so you just select device type input and then you put the 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 address value, and remember to put the semicolon. Because uh, if, if you try to do it li like that, it's going to give you uh, uh, an error. So remember, put the semicolon. For the outputs, it's going to be the same thing. Uh, o semicolon zero dash uh, zero and then one and two now for the accumulated uh, value of the of timer zero to address that you're going to use letter t semicolon 
the timer, which is timer zero dot acc. That's the accumulated uh, volume. And you can get this address if you go to timers here. This is the timer zero. If you want to get to address the accumulated value, you just use a T. Remember, you don't have to use the four. T semicolon zero dot acc. If you want to get a reference when the timers, uh, when the uh, the preset value gets to, sorry, when the accumulated value gets to the preset uh, uh, value, it's going to the, the bit done is going to be get activated. If you want to get access to to that bit, you uh, use the T semicolon zero dash n d n, right? You can get it here. And then the the other values you can also uh, uh, address those those values too, and you don't have to use the the number four. Uh, so the th same thing is going to be for the counters. If you go to counters, we're only using counter zero, and we're going to reference our accumulated value. Uh, then we're using um, so a, f a function for to to see if the integers is zero and integer one are equal. If they are equal, then the output one is going to be activated, and we we'll monitor here. So in, with this uh, indicator, multi-state indicator, we're reading what's the value of uh, the output uh, one. And for this uh, numeric entry, we reference and uh, we're going to input the 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 value for integer zero and integer one. Okay, that's pretty much all. So I the the basic thing is that is that you need to get the these address, right? And you don't have to use the 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 number after the the first uh, letter. It's not necessary. You can. Uh, I never tried, but uh, uh, I I just use plainly the the letter, not not the the number after. And you can get the, all of the different address uh, for even the the status of the your PLC. You can get that uh, address too. So right now we're running this on on our uh, HMI. So let's start monitor that. And you can see what is going on with the PLC on, on the left hand side of your screen. So right now in the programs, if you we press the the battery number word zero bit is zero, it's going to uh, active our uh, our output number zero, which is uh, this one, right? And if we if we input um, a PLC. Uh, if we activate the, the input uh, zero, we're going to get reading on the input zero, the input uh, one, and the input two. Now for the timer, if we press our our button here, our timer is going to start. Uh, the accumulated value of our timer is going to be increasing. And then we're going to start monitor that through our HMI. If I let go the the timer button, it's going to reset. For the counter, if we press this button, the bit uh, two, we're going to start increasing the accumulated value of our counter, and we can start monitor those those values. For our integer, we can change the the value of any of those two integers. For instance, let's do the one below. Let's change it to 50. And then the the output uh, 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 two, I'm sorry, the output one is, got, is, not, is not going to be active anymore. So our indicator is going to, to state that it's not equal. So if we change the same value on top we change it to 50 
then the the output one gets energized and our indicator shows that is equal which is what we're uh, specifying here on this uh, uh, run of the ladder logic uh, ladder logic well that that's pretty much it so if you have any question don't don't hesitate to put the your your question on the um, uh, comments below uh, thanks for watching if you like this video just hit the the the, the like button and if you know someone that can benefit can benefit from these videos you can share this, this video with uh, thank you so much